finishing up here. For most women, undergoing a screening mammogram is sufficient in helping to detect early breast cancer. We still recommend mammograms in every woman be who's eligible based on age, uh, but we do know that it's more limited in women who have dense breast tissue. Dr. Wendy Berg from the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine and co-authors examined more than 2,600 women with an elevated cancer risk and dense breasts. These women underwent three yearly mammogram and ultrasound screenings. In the third year of the study, just over 700 women received a single screening MRI. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. The combination of mammography and ultrasound after three years was extremely effective in finding the cancers that needed to be found. We found them before they spread to lymph nodes. That's what happened to Lisa Renzi. Previously diagnosed with breast cancer, she underwent successful treatment. Because she was now at higher risk, her mother urged her to participate in the study. A subsequent ultrasound showed shadows in her breast and a biopsy confirmed it was cancer. I was devastated, but I was also very thankful that this was available to me because had we not found it when we did, um, I don't know if I'd be here today. Lisa received treatment again and is cancer free. Adding MRI was even more effective at finding cancer, but was probably not necessary for the vast majority of the women in our study because we still were able to find cancer before it was a lump uh, by just the combination of ultrasound and mammography in most of our patients. Researchers say undergoing an MRI or ultrasound also carries a higher risk of false positive results, extra follow-up testing, and biopsies. For each woman, she should weigh the potential benefits from the potential risks of having any extra testing. I feel blessed because I've been given a new lease on life to be able to watch my daughters grow up and get married, to grow old with my husband, and to live my life to the fullest. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.